Good Wednesday morning, friends. I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, bringing you our thought for the day on this wonderful Wednesday. It's uh, looking like it's going to be a good day today, and uh, we've got our men's Bible study at 10 this morning, so come on out and join us. And tonight at uh, 5, we've got a great uh, meal with our guys cooking out hamburgers and hot dogs, and at 6 o'clock, our prayer meeting and Bible study in the sanctuary and our gathering for our young families in the fellowship hall. They're doing a great thing tonight uh, as they uh, start with music and fun, and then they split up and the kids go to their class and the adults stay, and uh, they get the same lesson from the same passage, and I'm excited to see how God uses that. But if you've got your Bibles out this morning, let's finish up uh, uh, this passage in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 picking up in verse uh, 18. But remember what we've been talking about is how it's important for uh, our, our leaders to understand that there's a time for feasting, there's a time for fun, but there's also a time for taking responsibility. But that's not just for people who are in positions of uh, power. It's uh, for all of us. Because listen to what he says. Verse 18, Because of laziness, the building decays. And through idleness of hands, the house leaks. A feast is made for laughter and wine makes merry, but money answers everything. And uh, once again, we see the the sarcasm, the irony of King Solomon as he uh, finds himself in these last days of life with uh, a wisdom that is pretty pessimistic. But listen to what he says. Because of laziness, the building decays. We, We get that, right? If uh, you you have a house and you don't do anything to keep it up, you don't paint it year after year, it just sits there, it decays. If you don't fix the roof when uh, it starts getting older, you've got leaks and then you've got more problems inside the house. Uh, Laziness will make that happen. Idleness of hands, just sitting back and saying, hey, I'm not going to to take responsibility. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to let things happen as they will. And they will happen. Uh, Our science uh, tells us that our world, our entire universe, is in this constant state of decay. If you don't believe that, uh, look at a picture of yourself 20 years ago and uh, then in the mirror today and see how the the change has has happened. Uh, Think about what you could do 20 years ago that you can no longer do uh, today. Decay is just a part of, of life. It's the way that God created this world because it was never intended to be uh, forever. It is a temporary home. But look at what he says. He says, a feast is made for laughter and wine makes merry. It's the idea that, hey, you know, there, there are fun things to do and it's, there are times for those things to happen. But you've got to take your responsibility seriously. You've got to do the work to keep things the way they ought to be. Then there at the end, he, he makes that statement, but money answers everything. And, you know, that's that's a true statement to a certain extent. Uh, you can always pay somebody to fix your house. You can pay somebody to fix your roof. You can uh, pay somebody to uh, cook for you to have that feast. Uh, it's the answer to a lot of things. But the truth is, it's not the answer to everything. Uh, money doesn't bring the happiness that, that we can have through a relationship with our Heavenly Father. Uh, And that comes through faith in Jesus Christ. You can't buy that. You can't uh, buy the love of your family, uh, your children. So money doesn't really answer everything, but to a lot of people, it is the answer. That's what they're seeking after. That's what they're always looking for. And uh, the, the key to this whole passage in Ecclesiastes chapter 10 is recognizing that there is a level of responsibility that all of us have to other people to take care of things and to uh, be aware that we have those obligations. We can't just go through life trying to have fun all the time. Sometimes we have to get serious. Sometimes we have to do the work. In fact, that's what we were created for, to do the work. And uh, so think about that today. Focus on that. and Think about how God would have you to serve him today, how God would have you to serve others today, and uh, recognize the fact that uh, God wants you to join him in the work that's going on around us in our world. I hope you have a great day today. Be blessed, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.